history is nothing more than propaganda. It's something perpetuated by the, uh, the victors of, of a war, for example. And it glorifies them in such a way to make themselves look as though they are completely innocent of any wrongful doings, any blood on their hands, so to speak, and the other side being the, uh, the guilty side, being the, the all bad, so to speak. In World War One, all of the information that America received came from England, and they lied to us quite a bit. For instance, they said that the Germans uh, raped nuns and bayoneted babies, which was not true at all, but it was a good war propaganda move on their part to get some dumb fucking Americans into the trenches and die for their cause. Um, we're told in public schools that America was the good guy of World War II. What did we do to the Japanese uh, population? Oh, that's right, we dropped two nuclear weapons on them rather than honorably fight them, fight their army. It doesn't sound like good guys to me, it sounds kind of like bad guys. We, uh, we helped the Soviets out because they need help with some civilians in Dresden, and we dropped a bunch of bombs in Dresden and uh, killed lots and lots and lots of people. There's some videos about that that are uh, kind of hard to watch. I should add too that the uh, the German civilians that went to Dresden were fleeing the Soviet army due to uh, some of the brutal things that they were known for doing, especially towards women. I'll leave it at that, I'm sure you can use your imagination. Um, just don't think that any side is all good or any side is all bad. If you think that, you're believing a propaganda lie. The truth is usually somewhere in the middle.